Welcome to Seniors Night in Orangeville for the final game of the OSBA regular season where Orangeville is looking to go 19-0 on the season and Lincoln Prep looking to spoil the party. Senior Night at Orangeville Prep is a night that we show our appreciation to our seniors. It's kind of our last home game and the families of those players to come up here and, and you know receive our gratitude for coming here. Uh, we, we generally give a, a, a picture in a frame. Uh, flowers to the parents and then be able to take pictures on the court uh, with the coaches, players and parents. Uh, so it's it's really just, you know, it's almost a, a combination of player appreciation and parent appreciation and a going away partying gift uh, from Orangeville Prep. The senior night was, uh, it was eventful for me. My mom came from Houston to come and watch me play in um, I think this might have been one of my first high school games I should come to see in about three years or so. So that was special for me. Hey, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Yay. Listen, hey. In transition, they can't run with us. Yep. You guys got to help each other and communicate, OK? Force these guys to run. All we got to do is rebound and go. Rebound and go. And just face them and attack. You understand? You're running a straight line, rim to rim, that's it. Let's go. 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 let us go 22 and 0, but when we got to that point, the guys were rallying around like, yeah, we could really go undefeated. Let's do this. They've been through a long season, and it's amazing that they can, you know, be 18 or 19 and 0, and and still have the same fight. You're already guaranteed to be the number one seed, but they really wanted to go undefeated. Kulabale feed inside to nobody. Stuka sniffs that out, steals it. Rattan Mays. Out of all of the layers, Shamar puts way too much pressure on himself uh, every single day, uh, sometimes to a fault. As a result of that, you could lose some focus in games, and he gets into sometimes a game with himself. I wouldn't say anyone else puts pressure on me because everyone's happy with me, like my family's happy, but I got freshmen like Jalik looking up to me, so I gotta set the right example for him because if I'm making the mistakes, then he's gonna think that those mistakes are okay to make too. So I'm trying to just, um, I'm trying to be a, a great leader for him. I'm an emotional player, like, because that's just the way I play. So uh, I pay for it sometimes, but sometimes it works out in my favor. One of the real good characteristics of Shim, he's definitely gonna defend his players by all costs. He's the captain of the team. He's always looking out for somebody, even if it means putting himself in the middle of it. He plays with a burning desire to prove people wrong, but he doesn't always have to prove anyone wrong. He has to prove himself right. One mistake ultimately could cost a game, could cost a championship, could cost a scholarship. 